In this video, we are going to address the problem of blocked files. If your PC is blocking files, then you're being less productive. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go in and fix this problem. For me, I download a lot of files. So I keep a lot of Excel files, a lot of OneDrive, things in my OneDrive or in my Google Drive. And sometimes I go to download a file and that file is blocked. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that your files are not blocked. And if you do get a blocked file and you trust that file and you wanna unblock it, this is how you do it. A lot of times people will call me and they'll say, hey, I downloaded the t-shirt calculator and the file is blocked and I don't know how to unblock it. So we're gonna jump over to the desktop and I'm gonna show you how, three different ways that you guys can unblock files. So we're over here on my desktop and over in the desktop, all we're going to do, let's say we're going to, we'll go over here and we'll pull out something out of my OneDrive. So let's say for example, you have a file like this and it could be a Word doc, it could be an Excel file, any type of file. Um, the first thing you want to do is right click on the file, go to properties and under properties, you're going to go over to security. And if that file is blocked, you will have a little block right here and you will click unblock the file. That's the first way that you can unblock a file. Another way to unblock a file is for example, let's open up this particular file here. This is an Excel file. And if you were to get a pop-up at the top saying that, hey, this file is blocked, this is what, these are the steps that you would do to fix the, to fix the problem. Mom, I'm live, I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. Okay, sorry guys, I always have to answer for my mom. Um, so if you incur a block problem, you can go here, Let's start that's over. If you're in Excel or any of the 365 products and you get a message up top that says that your file is blocked or your file cannot run a macro or something like that, you're gonna go to file, you're gonna go down to options and then in options, you're gonna look for trust center. Go here to your trust center, hit trust center settings and then right here, it will say, you want to click this. Um, well, I'm sorry guys, I took you guys to the wrong place. Go to your macro settings and then click enable B VBA macros. That is if you have a macro, that's a macro is going to be something like these little buttons that you click. And what it is, is it's certain things that you have in your files um, that help you do things smoothly and run things, make things go faster, right? Now, you want to make sure that it's a macro that you trust. So what you can do, I know that this, these are macros I can trust, so I enable my macros, right? Um, you can disable macros except for those that are digitally signed or disable macros with notification. If you've disabled macros with notification, then you get a pop-up to tell you to trust the macro. So that's another way. Now, if you are downloading things from websites, uh, let's say that you're downloading from a particular website, um, I'm always downloading files from my website. Another thing that you may, where you may go and you ha happen to trust this particular website, for me, that would be OneDrive, my Google Drive, things like that. Go to your control panel. And under your control panel, we need to look for our network, uh, in internet. We need to look for internet. And then under internet, you want to go to internet options. Once you get to your internet options, what you want to do is you want to stroll over to security. And you want to go and you want to look at trusted sites. 
If you restrict a site, it'll be here. So if I've got any sites that are restricted that I don't want data to come in from, I would put that website address here. But we're looking for trusted sites. So here I have this set on medium because I don't want any threats. So I've got trusted sites, click on sites, and then right here, this is where you go in and you add whatever website you trust. So when I'm downloading things from Google Drive, those Google Drive files that are coming in from Excel, Word, different applications will be trusted. So I just you just type in right here, whatever the name of the website is, if it's your OneDrive, type in your OneDrive, and voila, add it, and it'll go in here. And you want to have this HTTPS on for all sites in this zone because you only want to download things from trusted sites. Okay, guys, so that is how you go in and fix your website and make sure, not your website, but go in and fix your files and stop them quick, fast, in a hurry. I'm Latana Robertson, the Lady Print Boss, and if you like this video, then hey, make sure that you subscribe.